Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Jason Piccolo, author of Unwavering, A Border Agent Journey. Jason, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. Are you ready to get started? I am. All right. Question number one. What is, what is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writes in their book? I would get a big piece of construction paper, like, you know, 24 by 48, and map out what you want to write about. It's almost like mind mapping. And just determine where you want your book to end and then work it on back from there. Um, the other thing is I would get, check out a program called Scrivener. Scrivener is perfect for organizing notes and kind of jumping back and forth when you're in a writing process. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Well, if indie publishing is very easy, but if you want to get published, the, the toughest part is trying to find a literary agent that is going to, you know, take charge of your book, you know, with your help. I mean, you need a champion and it's tough to find an actual champion. Let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well. Well, one thing I did was, let's say I write nonfiction books. So what I do is I write opinion pieces, have them published in a paper. That gets me out there as a subject matter expert. The other thing, too, is I use LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn all the time to find bookers. Uh, when, you're, when you're looking up in LinkedIn, and, uh, and if you're not familiar with LinkedIn, it's a business application, for, and it's great. But I use LinkedIn to find people who are the bookers for like CBS, Fox, um, and anywhere else I could actually get my book promoted out there. So you're talking about in regards to these bookers. So what is your process with that and why do you want to utilize them so much? Well, in order to get on TV, you have to have a you have to have a connection. You have to have an in. And what I do is I, I network. You know, I build a relationship with the booking, um, the booking people at the companies and with the producers. So when my book is ready to launch, I already had an established relationship with them. So it's not like you're just hitting them up saying, hey, get me on TV. It's like, hey, by the way, my book is launching and I've helped you out before or whatever. And what tools are you utilizing to build those relationships? I usually just – I use um, – I, I get the LinkedIn professional. Mm -hmm. So I can actually you know, send messages to uh, people and then receive messages back. And I, I try to use – and I do my research. So I'm not just shotgunning emails and messages out to people. I ensure that it's the right uh, platform. So when you're reaching out to these bookers, what are you offering in value to help them? And I know we talked briefly about um, writing opinion pieces. Is that what you're referring to? Yes, and it's different. When you're, when you're writing a fiction or a nonfiction book, become a subject matter a expert on that field that you're writing in. Because then that gives you the opportunity to write these opinion pieces to get your opinion pieces published, who then what you do is when you go to the, the booking people, you say, hey, I just wrote this opinion piece. Would you like me to come on and talk about it? And they'll be like, oh, you know what? That sounds good. Excellent. And then these pieces that you're referring to, are these ones that you've written on LinkedIn or ones that you've written um, for newspapers? Now, I've written a bunch for uh, the Washington Examiner. Got it. And how were you able to make that connection? Did we just go, hey, I've, I've got this, these pieces I'd like to contribute, or how did that work? Well, <laughs> you know, that was a whole other story. And like uh, probably about a year and a half ago is when I first started pitching opinion pieces. And what I would suggest is anybody Google how to write an opinion piece yep. and then follow the parameters. Read other opinion pieces. See how they're formatted and cite articles within your own opinion pieces because your, your opinion piece – has to be relevant and timely. Yes. So you can't write about something two weeks ago. Absolutely. And I think it's one of the biggest things too. It's got to have something that's got a hook 
and it has to be something that is current because it can't be evergreen. Absolutely. All right, cool. So speaking of books, I'd like to ask what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? My favorite book was, I read it when I was younger and it's before I went in military. It was called About Face and it was by Colonel David Hackworth about his time in Vietnam. And I learned about leadership pillars and, and just how to write a good nonfiction book. Excellent. And then for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? Uh, that's a good one. I, I like one from Ronald Reagan. And let me, uh, let me dig that quote up because I don't want to, I don't want to mess this one up. So just give me a second here. I just had it up too. So that's, that's always good. I do not believe in a fate that will fall on us no matter what we do. I do believe in a fate that will fall on us if we do nothing. So in, I'm, I've been in law enforcement for 20 years, almost 20 years, and military. And I, that quote means a lot to me because it means you have to do something. You can say you're going to do something, but unless you actually do it, you know, that's, it, that's paramount. Well, Jason, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show. What is the best way for people to find you online? You could find me on my website, Jason Piccolo, J A S O N P I C C O L O dot U S. You could find me on Twitter at Dr. Jason Piccolo. And you could find me on Instagram at Jason Piccolo. Jason, thank you once again for being on the show. And I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. 